Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad to see you all in today's very special video. I know I say that a lot, but today's one is truly special because I am gonna review perfumes from this indie perfume house I have been obsessed with for the longest time ever. Ever since I started my channel, I found out about this brand on Fragrantica and uh, I really wanted to try out their perfumes and the house that we are gonna talk about today is called Blackbird and finally that happened they had a booth at Accents and I had a chance not only to smell their perfumes but also to meet the founder Nicole Miller who is just like the funniest lady ever and she makes fun of my accent and also Henry is amazing both of them are designers and that's why they have really beautiful packaging of their perfumes and I love their concept it is modern it is very indie it is a bit unusual a bit strange and they see perfumery as an art and they try to provoke with their scents but not in a bad way and i can totally see that their perfumes are so different you know different from all these mass appealing and even niche perfumes that all smell kind of the same their stuff is definitely different is unusual it is very interesting to experience but even though it is a bit strange, it is very wearable and I love that about them so much. So let's get started with a review and the first one that I want to talk about is called Y06-S. I hope I pronounced it correctly. This is the packaging. It looks pretty modern, pretty minimalistic. It has a matte uh, finish so it is very pleasant, satisfying to hold it in your hand and I like it a lot. So this is a 30 milliliter bottle and they have very affordable pricing guys. And this perfume is actually the one that um, is just like mind-blowing to make like so strange things with your mind. You're like your brain it just explodes like if you love perfumery and you're searching for something new something unique something that will wow and something you'll be like oh my god what is that i love it so much that is this perfume like everybody goes crazy about it and ever since i heard about it as it was launched i was like what i need to smell it just because the notes listen it has a lot of banana wood jasmine milk and electronics what? Like electronics in the perfume? Obviously that is an imaginary note, but still, still, what is that? How do you imagine bananas, electronics, wood, jasmine and milk to smell like? And I will tell you, for me, it is such a nostalgic scent, it is so interesting because it reminds me of my old TV in the Ukraine, this big black TV with a box behind, you know, and as I watched too much TV, it got overheated it was really like hitting projecting that heat and it was a strange pleasant scent and since i have uh, always been obsessed with different scents just different ones i loved that scent so much like overheating tv and it has that feeling like it is so cool and the first thing that you will smell when you spray it is banana like i i'm, I'm honest with you guys it's banana <laughs> and it is so strange with all those overheating TV memories and uh, even though I don't really smell something milky and like tonic in here and not a lot of oud is there for me either or jasmine like I get a bit of jasmine but not a typical floral jasmine that is kind of like strange pretty futuristic jasmine this scent is so well done it is not really um, edgy <laughs> it is not really something that is harsh something that is strange something that is very 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 hard to pull off no it is so easy it is so abstract it is so avant-garde so long lasting and this banana in here it is the strangest the coolest thing ever i highly recommend boys girls ladies and gentlemen to try out this perfume because it is mind-blowing it's like from the other planet it's like <laughs> and actually Nicole told me at PT that the secret ingredient in here is mint that no one knows about and for me personally there is nothing minty about it, nothing but she told me that there is mint and I believe her this is a great perfume for every day it is more on the fresh side and it is just interesting it is not too floral it is not too fruity it is not too oody it's just like overheating TV <laughs> don't, don't be kind of like uh, buy that it's great 
So that one is just amazing if you love more avant-garde perfumes. But if you're looking for something sexy and unique, I highly recommend Animon because this is the thing that I am literally obsessed with. Every time I smell it, oh my god, I have the biggest bit sexy nasty smile on my face and I really want to be around my boyfriend. My mom loves it. My mom really wants it. My boyfriend wanted to take it away from me and normally I say yes because he's a bit picky with perfumes and he does not really like everything and he's not that open for different perfumes. It just should work for him and he's obsessed with this perfume and I'm keeping it for myself. It is such a sexy perfume. There is a note of plum Plum, oh my god, plum is like the sexiest fruit ever. And then there is a note of labdanum, and it has the depth, a bit of oriental touch. There is a note of styrax, which is a dirty powdery note. Tobacco, not really tobacco, tobacco, more like aromatic tobacco. Then there is the note of lotus flower, and normally lotus is more on the fresh, kind of cold side, and I would never add lotus to this composition, but Nicole is a genius, and she knows what she does. So there is a note of ambergris, which is the strongest note in here, which in the combination with sweet honey and this like salty ambergris that is just to die for, and then there is a note of champagne, which I have a feeling goes really well with uh, lotus flower. So this perfume is a bit fresh, but it is more like deep. It has this plummy feeling. It's like plum with honey inside, wrapped into something salty and powdery. And this perfume is a great sexy scent that is very long-lasting. And for their pricing and for this longevity and quality, like, and, and artistry and unique feeling, I'm all about it. I'm all about Animon. It's like the sexiest thing on this planet. And then let's move on to the third perfume that is called Broken Glass. And I need to be honest with you, it is not my favorite just because for me it is more on the manly, fresh herbal side. It has a lot of herbal green notes such as artemisia, chamomile, violet leaf, um, and it has a high dose of cardamom in the opening, so I need to wait until that almost metallic, cold, uh, violet leaf, um, cardamom combination settles down, and as it does, it turns more well-rounded, and it is definitely a mass appealing scent, and even though I know that Blackbird is not about mass appeal, they want to challenge people's senses and just to play with them, to bring some new interesting stuff to people, this perfume would be great for men and women, just for every day. It has this freshness of geranium, which is more fresh than the rose, and there is the note of rose, which comes uh, through the composition intenser in the dry down. In the opening it is all about uh, very fresh, uh, a bit oily and fresh geranium, a lot of cardamom, a lot of green notes, and in the dry down it has bitter almond note which adds this powdery touch, just a, just a touch to this composition, but for me it is exactly that thing that saves the whole scent. So this perfume is great, woodsy, spicy, fresh, a bit cold perfume that is just easy to wear for everyday work uh, routine and uh, it is very fresh and uplifting, it is mass appealing, it projects really intensely and I think people who enjoy type of scents like fougere or something like that would find that one very interesting uh, because it is not too heavy on the lavender but it has a bit of a calming effect to it as well. So those were my thoughts on three Blackbird's perfumes that I have and I'm obsessed with them as you can obviously tell and they have even more great stuff that I really want to try and just to remember because obviously I smelled everything at the exhibition but right now I have only three perfumes and I just love Nicole's work and uh, contribution to the art community and I would love to collab with her and to create a perfume because I think like our minds would work perfectly together so you guys let me in the comments your thoughts would you be excited about our collaboration or not that is just my dream but who knows maybe that will happen one day and uh, I highly recommend you to visit their website everything looks so cool 
they have incense and different stuff on their website so the link is down below and I know that uh, my channel is all about this last known indie really cool unusual brands but that is what I'm very passionate about and I hope you learned something new in today's video and if you are in the USA and if you have any access to this brand check them out they are so great and they are just amazing they are doing great things their perfumes are all about artistry and uniqueness and even though they challenge us a bit they are still very pleasant and I love them. I love them so much and highly recommend you guys to check them out because I'm sure you love them as well. And that was probably all. Stay tuned, smell good guys. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye!